What's up, Calder Nation? Hey. Back again. All right. <laughs> so if you weren't here yesterday, you are still supposed to have an understanding of what we did in the lab. So I want to give it an overview of what Oops, so we started over. All right. So this is basically it. So we started off with one in the light, one in the dark. This is time lapse. Notice what's happening to the one in the light. I didn't check the one in the dark every five minutes like you guys did. So I left this for a period of time. Notice how the pH is going up in the one that's in the light. And it only takes a couple of seconds and we're going to get to the end. And eventually yours, if you left it long enough, would have gotten to the purple. So this is, this is a, a comparison at the end of what, hopefully what you saw. This is our control. This is what it looked like when it started. If you weren't sure what pH it was when you started, it really should have been about 7.3, between 7.3 and 7.5. Some people thought it was lower, but it's kind of hard to tell with the beads in there and not a lot of liquid and you're trying to hold it up. So it's, this is the, the control. In the light, over time, those, the pH should have gone up. Mine didn't really sit long enough for it to go all the way to 9.1, but it was definitely going in that direction if you watched the little time lapse. And then this one on the right is the one that was wrapped, um, and it went down to like 6.9. So hopefully that's what you saw. So really quick, let me explain why you would have seen what you saw. Um, let me get rid of this. Okay. So I turn that off. Oops. Maybe that'll close or not. There we go. I don't know what I did. my board very angry okay all right so here's here's why you saw what you saw so this will give you an explanation all living organisms not just animals a lot of people have a misconception that plants do photosynthesis and animals do cell respiration that's wrong all living things are doing some form of cell respiration because all living things need energy so whether it's a plant an animal a fungus even bacteria are doing some form of cell respiration. The one that's going on in the mitochondria is happening in all eukaryotic cells. So the algae that we were using, whether it was light or dark, were doing this second process, the cell respiration. They were taking sugar and they were breaking it down into carbon dioxide and water in order to make, to release the energy from the sugar and make ATP to run cell processes. So in the light and the dark, they were doing cell respiration. But the ones in the light were also doing photosynthesis. Now notice the relationship between these. Photosynthesis takes carbon dioxide out of the solution and basically incorporates it into sugar. And cell respiration takes sugar and breaks it down and releases carbon dioxide. What we were actually measuring when you were looking at the pH changes is you were measuring the levels of carbon dioxide in the liquid. That's what you were measuring. If the if it was in the dark, only cell respiration was happening, which means the levels of carbon dioxide would have gone up, up, up. If it was in the light, even though cell respiration was still happening, we put it in a really bright light, so there was more photosynthesis happening than cell respiration, so, photos, so the carbon dioxide levels were going down because photosynthesis was taking carbon dioxide out of the solution. Now, why does that affect pH? This is why. Because carbon dioxide, when it's bubbled into water, makes carbonic acid, an acid. So as the carbon dioxide levels go up, like the one in the dark that was only doing cell respiration, it would have made more acid, more hydrogen ions, the pH went down. And that's why that one should have turned yellow. The one that was in the light was doing cell respiration, but it was also doing photosynthesis. And it was doing enough photosynthesis that it was basically removing carbon dioxide, which shifts this entire reaction to the left, making the pH go up. So the more carbon dioxide that was made, it would become more acidic. The more carbon dioxide that was removed, it would become more basic. And in that way, we were able to measure both levels. That's why algae were such a good choice for this lab because we can study two processes at one time. Because algae are doing both. If we just studied an animal, we could study cell respiration. But by studying an algae, which is a plant, or like a plant, we can study both. We can look at photosynthesis and cell respiration because they do both processes in one cell. All right, so in essence, that's why 
way it changed the colors that it changed. That's what I wanted you to get from that. Um, and now we're going to actually start